Hello folks, welcome to the Vincent Voice, a weekly program where we tell you what's happening at the Carl Vincent VA Medical Center in beautiful Dublin in Lawrence County, Georgia. I'm your host, Dr. Frank Jordan. And on this beautiful day with our flags flying, we're getting ready for our Memorial Day, annual Memorial Day celebration. I've got with me Mr. Mark Taylor. Now Mark used to be a peer specialist with the VA up in Atlanta, but now he is a whole health coach. And Mark's going to tell us a little bit about what whole health coaches do. Mark, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Dr. Jordan. Always a pleasure. Tell us what you do. I, on a daily basis, we reach out to veterans, and, and, and I like to say I'm the guy that wants to help you live your best life. There you go. And what we've done and why they develop whole health, <laughs> basically, is to empower the veterans and to connect what's important to them in life with their health care. And right. once, we, once we have managed to do that, it's just proven that both improve significantly right. their life and their health because right. without your health you're not going to live too much of a best life yeah it's funny it's funny how people isolate that mark i was doing you know i read it all the time do a lot of research and i was actually reviewing a book that from a few years ago that i had read and it turns out we have what's called an optimism bias we think we think that you know bad health happens to the other guy you know diabetes heart disease car accidents, that all happens to other folks. It's unfortunate, but it's not going to hit me. And well, guess what? <laughs> Statistically, not true. It, it, and right. it turns out we do that to kind of make sure we have the confidence to take our life. But people have really got to get this brain going and, and do something about their health. You know, you know, Dr. Jordan, it's interesting you said that because one of our uh, self-care areas is power of the mind. Right. And that's so underused and so understood our subconscious mind has tremendous That's right. capabilities, That's right. and, but we stay in our conscious mind. That's but right. the cool thing about whole health is we can help you to retrain that conscious mind That's exactly right. and, 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 and envelop a positive attitude instead of potentially what we had in our past. That's right. And it was, it was trained that way. So we can untrain it. That's right. And, you know, you, you know as well as I do, anything the VA offers is evidence-based. That's right. Or well, we can't utilize it. And I love doing it. I love to see people start improving their lives, and I see it every day. Mark knew where I was going. That's the whole point. Even though, remember now, 50, 100 years ago or so, life expectancies were a lot lower. And if you go back to the hunter-gather environment, you might hit 30, 35 if you're lucky. We don't have to live that way anymore, folks. We can have nice, long, healthy lives, but you got to put, a, you got to invest a little bit in that health. And, so when you said health and life go together, you hit the nail right. on the head, Mark. That's right. And, 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 a, and a beautiful thing about it as well, we don't take away or, or replace any of your medical care that you're already getting. Right. We, we're, we're complementary. That's why we call it complementary Compliment integrative health. health. And what we do is we get in there between those long spans between the doctor's visits. That's, that's right. why we do all the damage. That's what I like about whole health. And right. we get in there and, and, and it helps. A lot of the veterans suffer from various diagnoses. And, and you'd be surprised how involved they like to get, have something to do. And yeah. it improves their life, improves their health. It gets them really involved with their That's health. Right. That's right. Whereas a lot of people, I was guilty, I had no idea what my treatment plans were. That's right. So now I do, and we, right. we get them involved fully. And it's a process that we do is we bring them in, we do a, a, a personal health care inventory. That's right. We go over eight areas of care. Anything and everything going on in your life, good or bad, will fit. We get that information and the veterans are going to sit there and they're going to say, oh, well, I think I need to work on that area. That's right. Then we, so we take that and we develop a goal. Then we do the personal health care plan. And that's where they set up the goal and make smart goals. And so it's a wonderful process. I'll tell you what, I went through the process myself. I, I was able to lose 30 pounds in three months. There you no go. diet. There you Lifestyle go. changes. That's right. And adding that integrative health in between everything I was doing. What you are talking about is making people bit more and better informed healthcare consumers. That's what we're talking about. Absolutely. I like it because I tell people, Mark, we used to think of healthcare as like an episodic kind of thing. You had a problem, you go to the doctor, you don't see them again for years maybe. You can't do that, folks. <laughs> you gotta you know, plan it. You know, it's interesting. Uh, when they did the study and they developed whole health, uh, one of the things that they said is Delivering exceptional care is not what it used to be. Right. So whole health, we're trying to make that cultural transformation. Right. We're the 
what, is, what I want to call it, with a change agent, yeah. getting it started. That's right. Because catalyst. Yes. Yeah, and what catalyst. we want to do, we want that provider and that veteran to have a wonderful relationship right. working together. The providers, they want to get to know us now. That's right. What matters to you? What brings you a sense of joy and happiness in your life? What are some goals? That's right. Is there any way I can help you? That's right. And, and that's going to develop a great relationship. And as our boss says, you know, the relationship is the basis of anything we do here that's right. in the VA. That's right. And, and that's happening. It's great watching it. I'm glad to be the first on board here, one of the first to, to do it. And it's just a great thing. Yeah, a lot, I tell you, know, I do a lot of training here, Mark, and, and actually a lot of other places. But I tell people, when it comes to human interaction, it's always about the relationship, That's period. Right. You know, when you go back in recent decades and people complain about their health care, it's because they're treated like widgets, That's treated right. like they're coming off a similar line. But we're, we've gotten away from that. VA does not do that. we got relationships. That's right. Them. And they're ongoing relationships. So we take you before you get out of the service, why you're enjoying that good long life, and we even have hospice care when you're facing the final days, and even after we honor our veterans when they when they have taken their final breath. The VA is not like it used to be. No, sir, the VA buddy. is changing with the times. Yeah, yep. And I'm very proud of it. Me too. And you're an Air Force veteran, and I'm a Navy veteran, mm -hmm. so we're veterans telling you, VA is doing a great job. So whole health, we do so many different things with whole health, Mark, and you you mentioned it. Complementary is a good word. It's also coherent. I like coherent because right. it shows how we're bringing all the different aspects of healthcare together, That's you right. know. And so, like last week, we did the whole show about VA 2K, which we do every year. Right. And, and it's really sponsored by and driven by Whole mm -hmm. Health among mm -hmm. uh, as leading it. And the reason for that is, is simple. I mean, Whole Health is everything we should be doing in healthcare. Right. Right. And, you know, you, you brought up complementary integrative health again. And some of those things that we choose, I, I'll never be able to list all of them. We've got so yep. many, and, and we're bringing yep. in more. But we have, like, diabetes clinics. We have hypertension clinics. We have right. yoga. We have Tai Chi. We have uh, massage therapy. We have battlefield acupuncture. We have so many things that help your health during those times. And uh, it's a lot, and we've got a lot of more things coming. It's funny to watch, it's funny to watch Mark, these people who are, have doubts about the drum circles and the Tai Chi right. and the labyrinth, and they think, oh, okay, I don't know about all that. And then they do it, and it's like, I get it. I get, the, I get what you're talking about when you're talking about mindfulness and getting my And, and you know, mindfulness. Yeah. You know, that's one of the things we as humans fail to do sometimes. That's right. Is pause. Be present in the moment. That's present right. in the moment. And a lot of these uh, things that we offer or just for that. That's right. That's and, right. And, and it really works. And, and the veterans that try it, uh, they love it. Dr. Geyer has a back to life clinic, a non -pharma uh, pharmaceutical right. type of pain clinic, and the veterans love it. That's right. That's and right. so we have so many things. I could sit here all day, but <laughs> that's just a little taste. We're doing it. a whole show on whole health. Mark. I want to say thank you for everything you do. Thank you for your services, thank Nation. You. Thank you for Keep yours. Keep going with that whole health stuff, and we'll have you back on the show. All right. Folks, we'll be right back with more Vincent Voice. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed amount of equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kid's college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kid's college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar. Depositing that spare change into a Moolah account where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. Hello folks, welcome back to the Vincent Voice. Now we're, we're doing a whole Whole Health episode today and we're doing this because we want you to understand that Whole Health, even though we're treating it like a concept, really if we were doing health care the way we should have done it forever, it would just be worked into things. It'd be integrative anyway. But that's okay. We're taking charge of it now. You see it across this great nation. VA's been leading the charge for many years now. We're really driving because now we've got our own whole health service 
So we're really emphasizing now. Now I've got with Mr. Henry Davis. Now Henry, I know you are a supervisor now in Whole Health. What do you do? Tell us about it. I am the newest member of the team, the Whole Health coach oh, okay. uh, supervisor. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I feel that the role of supervising the individuals that actually d do the hands-on work with the veterans that come into our program. Right. And then one of the, my background roles is to try to tap into other areas within the facility right. that we can continue to grow our, our customer base for yeah. lack of a better Now, term. and you're an Air Force veteran, so Absolutely. thank you for your service. And you've been at the medical center here for a while. What, one of the things I like about Whole Health, Henry, is it pretty much makes you, you have to be creative. That's you have to be innovative. That's just the whole point, you know. And so, as that, I would think for me that would be really liberating in how I did my work. What do you have it, you experienced? It that? is one uh, one of the interesting things about the the program is we get a chance to talk to the veteran, find out exactly what it is that makes that veteran tick. Right. As we start to find these common themes, that helps us to to further develop our program. If I see a hundred people this week and thirty of them have the same concern, right. then that's an area I need to start digging into to go. find out there if there's go. something that we can create to help fill that void. Uh, uh, Mark mentioned earlier that mm -hmm. that much of what we do is based on helping the veteran live their best lives. Right. If all of if I have a large contingent of people who all are going down the same vein, it makes it so much easier to develop a program for the mass and we don't waste a lot of time doing a specific thing for this one, a specific thing for that. We can generalize the programs and incorporate and encompass a much larger uh, swath of our, our, our veteran population. So it really is like an iterative circle that kind of keeps feeding itself. You, you, you learn, you take what you already know, you present that to the veterans, you learn from them about what they think, how things could be improved. And See, now that's real-time stuff right there. <laughs> that's good stuff. And many of these adjustments can be literally made on the fly. Yeah. Uh, have a veteran comes to you, many times they'll, br they'll come to us with an issue that may have come from another service line. Right. Uh, for instance, veterans having a hard time getting in to see someone in mental health. Yeah. M mainly because he just needs to talk to someone. Yeah. Well, we're not necessarily mental health providers, but if the veteran's only concern is that he just really needs someone to talk someone to, to show That's right. we can be there for them to fill that gap in between the time he sees his, his therapist and then comes back for a follow-up. We step in that gap and, and, and fill in those places. No, no psychologist or psychiatrist or social worker can be available to anybody 24 hours right. a day. That's right. But you have a whole other service line that have people trained to sit down, talk to veterans, and, and dig into what it is that matters to them. And then the information we gather, we can share that with those providers from the other areas so that when that person comes back to see their provider, they have a, an idea of what's been going on in the meantime. Right. It, 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 many times, uh, being a veteran myself, I don't always tell the doctor exactly what's going right. on. I'm talking about the moment. Right. But my negative moment may have been two weeks ago. That's right. But if I interacted with someone in whole health, that person's documented what I was, that I was speaking on. That's right. And then my provider can say, hey, I see two weeks ago you were having this issue. How's that going for you? So it allows us to expand the, the, the parameters around how we deal with our veterans. So you guys really are advocates for the veterans. And, and that's one of the reasons we train all of our staff here at Carl Vinson to know about whole health, even if they're not in whole health service. You know, everybody here is, should know about whole health, how it works, how they can make their contribution. And so, Henry, so many of our institutions in the world are kind of cook, have a cookie cutter approach. You know, uh, I hate to say it, I'm an education person, my doctorate's in education, but one of my criticisms is too often we expect uh, an education institution to, to render personalized service in a, in a, with a template that's designed for a mass approach. And, and I'm glad to see a lot of education is moving away from that. But healthcare has had to do it too, and we're kind of leading that. So that's what the healthcare coaches do, right? They kind of they tailor it for that veteran. Right. So right. you know, we got seven and a half million veterans in this country, but each and every one of them is going to get their tailored healthcare. Absolutely, and that that's the the backbone of of whole health. Put the veteran at the center. Let the vet, the veteran decide what's important to him. Right. You can go to your doctor every single day, and he can tell you take this pill, do this exercise, but if 
it doesn't matter to you, yeah, if it doesn't right. make a difference to you, and that's where the mindfulness that's stuff where the comes mindfulness in and the, and the, there you go. The that's thought, where yeah. tapping into what's important. Yeah. If 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 I'm if I got a problem with my knee, my diabetes may not necessarily be a problem. If right. I want to spend time and play with my grandkids and my knee is what's that's keeping right. me from doing it. You telling me to take my high blood pressure medicine is right. not really what matters to me. That's right. So whole health helps to find what's important. If I can get control of what's going on with your knee, now you're more apt to do the other things right. that you're provided right. because, because you see some success. You can you see, see where you see it takes that you're you. empowered. You've got some control. Right. Yeah. And I, you know, Henry, I always tell people the story about me and smoking. I quit smoking when I was 19. And I smoked three packs a day at 19 years old, and, and it was terrible for my health, of course, but there wasn't a power on earth could have got me to stop smoking mm -hmm. except me. I had to, yeah. <laughs> whatever it took, that intrinsic motivation had to kick in. But that's what we do with Whole Health, I think, in a way, is we create an environment mm -hmm. where they see it is possible, and they yeah, can absolutely. take charge of the health. They yeah, are absolutely. empowered to, and to That's them. one of the, one of our primary programs is a program called Taking Charge of My Life and Health. Yeah, that's um, right. The coaching staff is more, we're like the gatekeepers for the whole health program. Right. Um, every veteran that's interested in our program, they, they come to us, we do what is called an introduction to whole health. Yeah. It's basically where they sit down with a coach, the coach explains the entire program, talks about all of the offerings that we have. Once the veteran's introduced, then we try to send them down a pathway that's called taking charge of my life and health. It's right. a nine week program. Okay. You meet weekly with a coach to discuss various areas of your life and develop an actual plan to get you from where you are to where you want to be. After that nine week program is complete, then the coaches don't just drop you. That's they right. continue to follow up with you periodically over a span being that, of time being that conscious for to you. make right. sure that whatever it is your ultimate right. goal was that you're continuing towards you're that You're not goal. alone in it. you yeah. got a whole health coach going to literally coach you through it. Right. And that's one of the reasons I like to have this topic covered on this show regularly because this stuff transcends VA. I mean, this is anybody's life. You know? Absolutely. VA has tremendous resources available out there on the Internet. Anybody can access them. Just look up Veterans Affairs Whole Health and you're going to see a wealth of materials out there that will help you with your personal health. And you may pass it on to a veteran, you know, and that's fantastic. So. And lastly, there's another uh, area that we also have began to grow, and it's our employee whole health. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No matter how good of a doctor or a nurse or a provider you are, that's right. you got to take care of yourself first. That's right. And we've learned that burnout is yeah. one of the things that, that hurts us within VA health care. That's right. Uh, if I'm a provider on the outside, and I, want, and I get 2,000 patients, I don't have to take patient 2,001. That's right. But here in VA, if the veterans keep coming, we have to keep we taking. We got veterans take care of them. So yeah. therefore, doctors can become overwhelmed, providers right. can be overwhelmed. We are creating a program now where we offer many of the same services to our employees as right. well to, to help combat that burnout, That's right. to give them that mindful moment where That's they can right. take a break and, and decompress. Uh, our, our employee whole health program is fairly new. Miss Barbara Keating is the that is growing person like who, crazy, and, and she is a is a dynamic that's individual. Right. That's right. Uh, so, those of the people that work within the system, that's right. There's something there for you as well. That's right. Dr. Stephen Covey from Seven Habits Fame would call that sharpening the saw. Habit number seven: you got to keep the staff charged up and energized Absolutely. and avoid burnout so they can take care of everybody else. Absolutely. Henry, I want to thank you for being on the show. We're going to have you back. Congratulations on the move to whole health. Thank you. I want you to get knowledgeable now because I want you to come teach us all about it. Bring your Absolutely. whole crew, all right? No problem. All right, here, thank you folks. We'll be right back with more Vincent Voice. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused.
conservative treatment options are typically where we start with both knee and hip arthritis. So if you come in to see us and your hip is beginning to be arthritic or your knees beginning to be arthritic, there's sort of a stepwise approach that we take. Anti-inflammatories, which are medicines like Motrin, Advil, Aleve are usually sort of first line. We have prescription forms of those medications that we can use. In our elderly population, though, that becomes a little more difficult because they have comorbidities, things like diabetes or stomach ulcers or disease that they can't take those medications, even hypertension. So we'll try to treat them with medications if it's appropriate. When it's not, then we go on to things like injections. So cortisone injections, or there's these things called visco injections or visco supplements, which are lubricating type injections that we can use to treat knee arthritis as well as hip arthritis to try to control people's pain. And a lot of times we do that for years for people before they get to the point where those are no longer working and we're ready to talk about knee or hip replacement. Hello folks, welcome back to The Vincent Voice. We, this segment, we're gonna be one of my favorite people in the whole world, Mr. <laughs> Gus Britton, Army veteran, Vietnam War veteran, and volunteer extraordinaire. I call Gus our volunteer extraordinaire because he has been here for over 30 years now, over 32,000 volunteer hours. That's volunteer hours. The man has <laughs> had a volunteer <laughs> career that exceeds what most of us get paid to do. So. <laughs> We depend on Gus to cover so many areas. You know, Congress is good to us with the money and, and we have no complaints, but that's still, there's always gaps. You know, as big an organization as the VA is, mm -hmm. you can't possibly cover it all and Congress could, couldn't possibly plan for it all. We gotta have our community members help us. And one of our most biggest supporters are volunteers and Gus represents the best of them. Gus, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank now, you. Now you've Brian. been on the show before. The other night we had our volunteer banquet. We do an annual volunteer banquet where we say thank you to you guys. and. So I didn't get to go that this year, but how did that go? That went well. Uh, Mr. Davila, our, our director, mm -hmm. he wanted to open it up and have an in-person right. volunteer banquet. In the last couple of years, we just haven't been able to do it because of COVID, because of COVID and everything. But this year, uh, Keith Griffin, the uh, a volunteer chief and Mr. Deville, our director, decided to get out and have an in-person volunteer. I banquet. think from the pictures, it looked like the ice house was it down at the ice house? Yeah, it was. Down at the ice Absolutely. House. Okay. I love that environment down at the ice house. Yeah. You look at it from outside; it's kind of an older building. But man, when you go in there, they have. I like to never found it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> down at Five Points, downtown Dublin. You can't okay. get. But yeah, inside I was amazed. I went in there years ago and I was like, wow, they have done a beautiful job they on did. this place. They did. Nice venue, nice yeah. venue, that's how. So Gus, 30, 30 years and 32,000 hours, but what keeps you motivated? <laughs> uh, just coming here, helping veterans yeah. out, helping the staff out, just doing what I can to help the mission of this hospital. Yeah, I was, I was telling somebody in between segments, me and you, probably get here earlier than anybody else on the day we shift. Do. About 5.30 in the morning every yeah. morning we're here. You, you always greet me. Every now and then I slip in ahead of you. I just do it to, to show you I could do it yeah, more. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so 5.30 in the morning, you, you, like I said, you fill in those gaps for us. You're there to help and, and you're just so flexible. I mean, I've never had you turn me down for anything. Well, I'm up anyhow. It's not that I get up early to do it. Right, I'm usually right. out of bed about 2 a.m. anyhow. So. Is that military? Yeah. Training or yeah. what, what causes that? That, go? that goes back to Vietnam when you okay. had to stay awake. There you go. I got you. So staying awake was a matter of survival. Uh, right absolutely. There. Yeah, one of my favorite pictures of you, I got you in 1969 in <laughs> Vietnam. Young man, but that face is, is, I could tell you in a crowd, I would have been able to okay. spot you, but 1969 and now, and you've continued that service. You, you, yes. were, you were a law enforcement officer for some time. You did Bell's Bondsman thing, I know, one time. And, and you came to us in what, 1991? 1991, right. okay. And you, man, you've just been a stalwart for us. So we were, I was also talking between segments about retirement. And I tell people, look, if you're gonna retire, you had better have a plan. There's nothing wrong with retirement, but this idea that you're just gonna go retire and do what you want, that'll make you happy, will not work, folks. Human beings have to have a purpose. Research is hard on this. If you don't have a focus, a direction, a purpose, some aim in your life, you are gonna be an unhappy human being. There's no question about it. Do you think that's kind of one of the things that drives you here? It, I know it, service is a big part of it. But. Well, it is, you know, you, you, you've got to have something to do. Yeah. You've got to have a hobby. You've got to have a, a, a pastime, you might say, right. and uh, stay active. You've got to stay active. We got Memorial Day coming up this 
this weekend. Next Monday is our Memorial Day ceremony. We're going to uh -huh. have it right here oh, behind us where these flags are, right out on, right. The, on the front lawn. And Mr. Davila is really excited about having oh, yeah. a, an outside Memorial Day ceremony. And talking about someone who's retired and keeps giving back, right. we have a, a retired uh, employee that will be our guest speaker. That's right. Mr. Jim Strickland. That's right. That's and uh, he, he's coming back, to, you know, to be our, our guest speaker, but uh, to get out and and be interactive with people. We've been shut down for two years. Right. We've right. had these uh, uh, virtual ceremonies for the last two years. And uh, not only we could do it in our auditorium, and that, that is a plan B. Yeah. In case it's bad weather oh, out right yeah. here, we'd always go in. But Mr. Davila wanted to open it up, get out, get people some fresh air, right. and to enjoy the Memorial Day ceremony. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for outside. I'm going to be honest with yep. you. That, I was a cop for 21 years, and one thing I miss about it was being outside all day. <laughs> so anytime we get an event outside, I'm all for it. Now, Gus, one of the things you do for us, you're, you, you do a lot, but one of the things, anytime we have an event like Memorial Day, mm -hmm. VA2K, you're involved. I and, am, yes. And, what, and we always are able to tie in the whole health concept with that. How, how have you, you've been in VA healthcare for a long time, a long not time. only as one of our teammates here, but getting healthcare yourself. How do you see the whole health thing? I mean, the whole is, health, the body, mind, and spirit of a person, you have to cultivate it. That's right. You uh, have to keep your body going, you have that's to keep right. your mind going, and the spirit within you has to stay motivated, keep that's moving right. also. And uh, Dr. Matthew Geyer is in charge of the uh, whole health program that's here. Right. They have an array, I mean, the things that whole health encompasses here would fill volumes of books. Yeah, he, they are constantly. He and Rosie Wynn, his, right. his chief nurse, you know, uh, they are really, really active. Barbara Keating and the entire staff of Whole Health is really involved in the veterans' health and well care. Yeah, and, and a lot of those folks are nurses mm -hmm. and doctors, and so, yeah, they, they know what they're doing. And they you're do. right, man, they are very innovative. They're, they're constantly coming up with new ideas. Exactly. People love the drum circles. We have a labyrinth walk where you can <clears throat> It, it sounds kind of wild, but the Labyrinth Walk helps you uh, adopt a mindful attitude so mm -hmm. you can contemplate those things. I'm glad to see we're bringing the mindfulness stuff out of the exotic realm, Gus, and the esoteric and making people understand it's very practical. It you is. got to get your mind right, Luke. Right. You remember that old movie, Cool Hand Luke? <laughs> <laughs> Said you got, you got your mind right, Luke. Well, you got to get your mind right, you folks, get if you want to benefit right. from the whole health. Yeah. you got to understand you're in charge, and that's what our folks do. They, they don't tell you to do anything. They give you really good advice, like old Socrates used to do mm. back in ancient Greece. Hey, this is what you need to think about doing, and we'll help you with it. Right, that's right. That's Gus, it. I want to I want to say thank you for what you do here, and you're I hope you're at least here at least as long as I am. So let's shoot for at least another eight <laughs> or ten years. Okay. okay, all right. Just just ten years, and then okay. you do what you want. But folks, don't forget about what we said about purpose and. Your purpose may be getting your health care in order. If you've got complex issues, you're, you're a veteran, or again, resources are available online. You don't have to be a veteran. But if your, your health care is complex especially, got diabetes, some heart condition, whatever, that could be your purpose if you're retired. But have a purpose if you want to enjoy that retirement and make that purpose, at least one part of that purpose, your health care. Make it whole health. And enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy what you're doing. Gus hit the now the sage wisdom from my buddy Gus already. Gus, thank you for what you do. Let's keep it up. All right, sir. <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back with more Vincent Voice. Congratulations to the class of 2022 from everyone at Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay Realty. Remember, knowledge is power, and choosing Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay as your real estate company, you'll always have up to date information on the local market, prompt and professional service, and satisfaction guaranteed. That's what you'll get when you're dealing with the number one realty company in the area. For more information, visit c21dublin.com. Call us at 272-1535 or visit Century 21 Dirt and Cornegay at 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Broker George Dirt. Maybe he landed here totally by coincidence. But if by chance, he's admiring your fresh coat of Benjamin Moore soft sky blue, well, that's a pretty high compliment. Coming from an expert. 
quality products and installations since 1985. That's Four Seasons. Hello folks, welcome back to the Vincent Voice. Well, I always like to close out the show with a couple of comments. First of all, as always, I want to say a huge thank you to the good folks at TV35, the deals, they're, they're fantastic. Our producer, Kevin Gibson, what a guy. He, he makes it easy on us and we appreciate that. What we really appreciate this half hour week, we get to talk about VA and Carl Vincent issues and get you tuned into it. We also want to do a, a pitch or a plea. You know, some people do pledge drives. We're not going to do that to you. What we are going to ask you to do is watch the show, number one. It's great information that you can then go pass on to veterans you know and their families. So one of the most patriotic things you can do, in my opinion, is pass on information to veterans and their families and show them what the what kind of programs the VA offers and what, what they need to take advantage of. Get on our Facebook page. Go to the Facebook, put in Dublin VA Medical Center, like our page, and then the big thing, share what you like. Again, if you share it and people, other people pick it up, we get that information circulated to our veterans, and guess what? Now they know about programs they might not have known about. They might not even know they're entitled to benefits, and that's where they need to start, so that's fantastic. So again, get on that social media on our Facebook page, share it, like it, and we appreciate it. And watch the show every week, we appreciate that. But whatever happens, folks, if a veteran has a need, do your part, be patriotic, be a good American, and reach out to that veteran and see if you can't help. There's so many resources online for veterans that you just can't miss. And if you know a veteran in crisis, absolutely reach out to the Veterans Crisis Line and help them out there. So folks, we hope you'll tune in every week. Until next week, I'm your host, Dr. Frank Jordan. Thank you.